Hi everybody and uh, welcome again for another Oculus Link live stream uh, using the Oculus Quest and today we're going to be doing a Blast World uh, which is a new game I think that came out on the 20th of November uh, this year so it says that it's free but I'm not quite sure if it's um, uh, if it's actually a demo or if it's actually the full game so I thought it'd be fun just to you know maybe do 15-20 minutes together I've never tried this I have tested it to make sure that it does work before we start the stream uh, this I have done uh, right do write your um, if you have any questions or any comments you want to write do type them I have my window open so I can actually see uh, if you guys would be typing anything I'm just readjusting my windows a little bit so oh, okay I can't close this one and then we're just going to start so let me put my headset on all right pop in my glasses there all right cool yeah so glass wall looks interesting I'm going through the steam um, the steam site just to see all the different things that they have that they have available and uh, just trying out their different things. So they have some demos and uh, they have plenty of different things. Just needs, my glasses are actually a bit blurry. So I have to just wipe them a little bit. Sorry about that, give me a minute. And then I'll just wipe the uh, lenses of the Quest. Also, there we go. All nicely done. Oh, it's much better. Okay, there we go. I'm in. Okay, just adjust this. Uh, IPD. Okay, cool. And uh, I also want to give a little shout out, or a big shout out, uh, to Argun. I hope I heard I said your name properly. Uh, thanks for your feedback. I have uh, put the entire screen without the little thing on the side. Um, but it means that uh, it's a bit cropped on the top and the bottom. So um, please feedback, guys, if there's anything you can't see inside. So, for example, let me grab the remote. You should be able to see both my hands. Uh, let me know if you if you don't. I mean, of course, I'll rewatch the replay a bit later. Um, but there might be some cropping uh, here and there on the top and the bottom part because. Uh, I had to stretch a little bit the screen so that it would actually do the full screen. All right, uh, we're going to start this live stream now. So let me just open the window in case you guys write any comments whilst I'm actually doing the live stream. So we're inside of the Oculus Link home at the moment. Do check out the video about the uh, ultimate Oculus Link home tour. I talk about a lot of different things over there. Um, and really, really would give you an amazing overview uh, into, you know, how it all works and what you can do and all those kind of things. Uh, so yeah, it should be pretty, pretty cool. All right, I'm going to change my headphones. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put these ones on. Okay, where's the wire? There we go. Sorry guys, just uh oh my wire got entangled there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry for the noise. It's just a wire going through other wires. <laughs> wires just love to entangle themselves for some reason. Okay, so uh, let me play directly. So to play my Steam games, I just, uh, so I'm inside the Oculus Link home. I'm not in the Quest. Uh, to access the Quest, I just go to my settings. And then in the headphone section, I click on disable. So now I'm inside the Oculus Quest home. So to go back, normally what I do is I go to settings, see all. And then devices, and I scroll all the way down. And there it is, it's down here, Unable Oculus Quest, uh, Oculus Link Beta. So I just click on this and then we'll be back inside of Oculus Link Home here. There you go. 
And then to launch my Steam game, I click on the plus. And then I see my Steam client bootstrapper, I click on this. It brings up my, basically my Steam, uh, my Steam panel. And then I click on play. So from here, uh, on my desktop, sometimes there are some games like this. Uh, there will be a pop-up that comes up. So let's go back to your computer. You can use your virtual desktop, by the way. Uh, I just choose not to. Uh, and then it asks me launch Blast World in Oculus VR mode. I click, I tick on that option, then I click play. And then uh, Blast World does not support your current active headset. Okay. It's loading, so I don't know why I said that. Uh, maybe because it thought it was a, it was a quest. So we're inside. Um, okay, so I have to stand up, but I have to be very careful because my wire is only 1.8 meters and I can't recenter. No, I can't recenter anything. So I go back inside the app. So I have to stand up. Login or register? Oh, okay. Uh, cancel. Do I have to tap on it? Okay. So, can I bring it to me? No, I can't. So I have to register, okay. My desk is right in front of me, so it would be nice to have an option where you can actually like recenter things. Register. Enter username. Um, where's the shift? So I have to tap. All right, so L A Z I U S because that's my name. Zero, zero. Oh, I'm trying to be careful because I'm hitting my screen. One. All right, enter. Enter password, okay. Hopefully it doesn't show the password. Oh, of course you can see the password because I'm typing. All right, I'm just going to type any password and then after this, uh, I will just change it. Enter an email address. Ah, my God. So many different things. All right, I'm going to enter my spam email, which is where everything goes and I never check it. Where's the at? Can't reach it. There's literally a war in front of me. I don't really like this, uh, this music, to be honest. Okay, so buzzcloud marketing gmail.com, yes. This is an old email. I never check anything in there. So if you send me an email there, I will not read it. Okay, so I'm going to sit down. I'm going to play the tutorial so that we can learn how to do this. Event ongoing for eight days. All right, uh, let's just go and play the tutorial. Right, so I click the trigger there. Moving comfort mode, okay. Look at left wrist to open menu. Okay, so this is a bit like the dancing game or King Spray. On King Spray, you have to do this. Or also on Tilt Brush, you have to look at your left for the tools. Did you know on Tilt Brush, you can change left uh, left-hander and right-hander just by tapping your controllers. Just a tip there if you use tilt brush. Um, okay, so touch. Okay, so you can walk, you can do this, okay. Can you teleport? You can teleport as well. Oh, okay. You can see, this is a bit like VR chat where you see someone walking. I wonder if you can change that. Climb any surface. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Wow, uh, it's very noisy. Uh, I have to say, I, I see these. I see these little pixels, like uh, because it's very dark in here. So basically, you can see pixels. It's not my. Of, of course, it's not my my lenses which have a problem. Uh, it's just how the game is made. Uh, the walls are so noisy. They're so low poly that you can actually see like a blur of pixels in front of the texture. Uh, it's a bit like uh, looking at something that's extremely glossy, I would imagine. All right, now that it's getting brighter, the pixels are disappearing. All right, cool. Oh, 
There you go. I do wish I didn't see myself jumping though. Okay, can I go to settings? Yes. Hand. Karen hand is right, yes. Is that all I can do in the settings? Like, just change that? How pathetic is that? Come on. Alright, let me just check that uh, the sound is still working and everything. Do you need to check that now and then? And that you're not writing anything? Any comments? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, welcome, guys. If you just joined, uh, we're playing the um, Blast World. I'm not quite sure if it's a demo or the actual game. Because I went on Steam and they said that there was a game called Blast World and it had a price. But then there's another one when uh, there's no price. Boom. All right, let's go and check one of that out, what that was. So I'm playing the tutorial at the moment. Well, I think I am. All right, uh, let me not knock over my, my head on my desk. Because I don't have my guardian on. I mean, I have it on, but I don't know where it is. Oh, look, you can see my little feet. Is that my little feet there? Oh, it's pretty tall. So this thing is there, All right. Oh! Oh, wow, I jumped right on it. Okay, so, oh, we have a gun. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, my link cable is getting untangled. Sorry, my anchor cable, because it's not a link. Technically, it's not a link cable yet. Right. Just going to remove my headset for a second. Okay, and my link anchor cable has to go. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Right. All right, so everything is low poly. It reminds me a little bit of. Um, Old space VR. Okay, I'm still not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, where's my where's my gun gone? I had a gun just now. Where's it gone? My gun's oh, it's it's over there, is it? Uh oh, these are bad guys. I can tell. How did I get all the way there? Right, give me the bazooka. Oh, wow! Look at this bazooka. Yes, please. How do I work the... Oh. Um, I've never used a bazooka. Which way is the app and which way is down? Is this... Okay, I think it's like this. Alright, I can teleport and also hold the bazooka at the same time. Is there only one? That's it. No, it's not. Where am I? Where the hell am Who is this? Hi. Is that me? No, that's not me, right? Who are you? And how did I get here? Oh my god. Oh, I'm back inside the um, the thing. Okay. I, I hope Oculus Link come out with... Uh, I mean, uh, Oculus come out with the Oculus Link cable soon because I would love to have the longer cable. I know... Please don't suggest extension cables to me because I'm just not going to waste my money. You want me to go in there, is it? Okay, and then, where do we go? You can climb. Yeah, I know I can climb, but I don't want to climb. I want to go and play the game now. There seems to be a headquarter. I mean, the graphics are quite, quite nice. Very colourful. I like the, um, the shading. Oh, I can move this. Oh, that's not a very steady home, is it? By moving my hand, everything else is moving. Right, let's, uh, I guess I can't go over there, all right. It's such a mysterious game. I'm really trying to figure things out. All right, let me, can I get rid of this gun? Okay, because I really want to go down there. I can't. Okay, so the only way out is climb the wall. All right. Oh, God. Okay, I can climb with my weapon. Where do I go? Up here, okay. Oh. Can't move. 
grab onto this. I have to look up. Sorry if there's a crop, guys. Uh, I did give some feedback. One of you suggested I should, well, Angle suggested that I should use the entire screen. So I'm just trying out. Let me know in the comments below if you feel it's okay or not. Okay, I don't know why I'm climbing the floor since I could walk. Um, okay, let me turn so I have to use my trigger. All right, let me turn towards my computer so that I got longer, more cable. Uh, it is glitchy because sometimes I use my thumb and it's not turning. Right, and I can't, okay, I have to teleport to walk, all right. I do wish I could turn that off. This is a bit like VR chat, right? But in VR chat, you can actually turn that off. Okay, he's there, right. So that's my instructor. Okay, buddy, so what next? I can't hear you and I can't read your lips. So you lead the way. Yep. You keep telling me you don't know what to do next. That's what your body language is suggesting. I, I do like the graphic. It looks like he's wearing a cardboard box. But it's, his body language is like, I ah, don't know, I don't know. Are you doing the tutorial with me? Are you... We're not online. We're not doing multiplayer. So that's impossible. Yes, what? <laughs> so hilarious. Uh, okay, let's just go down and blast some robots. Wow, I'd love to be able to jump that high. Okay, so I guess we have to be a bit stealthy. Okay, I see a guy over there. Is that a guy? Right, let me just adjust my glasses. Yeah, it is a guy. All right, another human with a beard. Is that Remarcus? No, it's not Remarcus. Hello. What am I supposed to do? What's he doing? Are we supposed to go in? Hide in there. Is it like a secret passage? Okay, he's on me now. I'm so confused. Like this guy looks like he's a multi like I'm in multiplayer. It feels like that. It feels like he's another l real player and we're playing together because he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, let me hide. Oh no, I was, oh. Can I change the gun? Oh, I can't. Where am I? All right, I'm going to exit this thing. And I'm going to go into, um, I'm just going to go into the story mode because I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. All right. Yeah, overall, um, hi Jesper BP. Yeah, overall, um, comfort is very good. Um, there's definitely a noticeable difference. There's definitely a noticeable difference uh, between the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Link, for sure. Um, I find that I'm pure unclear. I mean, this is also dependent on your graphics card. Um, I'm using an RTX 2070 with a 999700K or i9770K, I can't remember. Um, so it will be dependent on your graphics card, um, but for me, there's definitely a big difference in terms of the um, ambient inclusion, the shadows, um, the reflections, um, flares, you know, Lighting is definitely much more superior. Like here, for example, uh, if I just close this thing. Okay, let's just minimize this. Okay, uh, so for example, if you look, I don't know if you can see on your screen, but this is my home, which is yet to be finished. Um, so why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Uh, you, you can see, all right, let me just go backwards a bit. Uh, you can see the gradient. Let me see if you can see when I point. 
the planet there, there's a planet and there's the sun behind it. You can see the gradient of the colors gone from yellow to dark brown and everything in between. Uh, on the Quest, you don't really see stuff like that. Um, and also, when you, um, like anything to do with shadows, like, okay, let me show you another example. Um, let me go to, okay, this is the wrong one. Let me go here, let me go to inventory. Uh, let's go to environments. I'm going to show you. All right, so I just scroll down. If you want to know how to change your Oculus Link home, guys, please watch my ultimate Oculus Link home. Okay, there we go, it's changed. Right. Uh, so, yeah, go and watch that video. It shows you everything and anything except for the virtual desktop part. Uh, so, how to explain this? Look at these shadows. I mean, these shadows are amazing. Um, they're moving nicely. They're not crisp or sharp. They tell me that the object's a bit up there. You can see the glaring of the, I mean, not the glare, but the, um, the fact that I'm facing the sun uh, and you can see the, the different, the detail of the color, how bright it kind of is there. And then it's very bright up there, of course, because the sun's there. And then it gets darker. You know, these leaves here are darker green, but here they're lighter green. I mean. That's the kind of detail, you know, you would see on a PC VR game, basically. Um, so you don't really get to see this on the Quest. You don't see that. Um, shadows and light on the Quest, to me, is a bit more black and white as opposed to a gray area in between uh, or gradients in between. In terms of comfort, it's the same because um, depending on the game you're, you're playing, then, you know, motion sickness or whatever will depend on, on the game. So, um, comfort is absolutely the same. And of course, the headset itself doesn't change. So, but so far I'm finding, uh, like if you look at the previous video I did today, the live, uh, live Oculus Link of the uh, Galactic uh, game, you know, it was, it was going really fast, everything was 360. But you'll see, I had no motion sickness. Everything was super cool. Even the Spider-Man game that I used, that I tried, the live there was very good. Just that when I looked at the shadows in that game, it did give me motion sickness because the shadows were so badly done. It was so jaggered, so blurry, um, and they moved so fast that it actually did give me motion sickness if I looked down at the shadows. But when I was dangling on the web from building to building, uh, it was absolutely amazing and uh, absolutely no motion sickness whatsoever. Okay, let's go back into the game. I hope that answers your question. Sorry if it was a long answer. Blast world. Yes, I want to go. Blast world, Steam. Preparing to launch Blast world. Okay, let me choose the Oculus headset. Play. And then another pop up says, okay, it should launch. Okay, there we go, we're launching again. So this time I'm not going to do the tutorial. I'm just going to straight do the game. Oh, no, that was a tutorial. Alpha version. Okay. Create. Community maps. Max A players. Game mode CTF. So this would be a multiplayer version then, I would imagine. Let me look around. So is this a multiplayer game? I'm a bit confused. Is this like a rec room? But I don't know where the other players are. So am I on my own in here? I can hear voices. Okay, are there any bad guys in here? I'm in a train station. I'm wondering if this is, um, it says maximum eight players, so I'm a bit confused about that. Does it mean that other people can load inside the game through different accounts? Okay, I'm exploring this game with you. I'm trying to learn about this game. It's not very clear. I wish it was a bit more clear.
Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can... Right, there's a staircase there. I'm just wondering if this is a bit like Rec Room and you're supposed to have other people to play the actual games. There's an arcade machine there. Okay, let me stand up. Team free for all. Start game, okay. You are on red team. I'm on red team, okay. But where are the others? Okay, there's... Oh, something's happened. Okay. Alright, so a plane just came over and dropped this thing here. Alright, so I got a bazooka. I did... Okay, I got a bazooka as well. So I got two guns now. Alright, I can walk around the, the station. It's quite ghostly, the station. Is there an exit over there? Or does it take part inside? No, I have to be in. Okay, I'm standing up now, but I'm trying to be careful because my cable's not long enough. So this game came out on the 20th of November, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking this must be like a rec room and you need other people to play with. Okay, let me go across the bridge and take a look. I'm going to give another a benefit of doubt to this game. Because there's no bad guys in here, so... Where is everyone? I'm on the red team, but... What team is that? Alright, I'm going to exit this thing because I'm thinking you have to be in multiplayer mode. Let me just shoot myself. Can I kill myself to exit? Because I can't seem to exit. No. I have an exit. So I can't exit the game. No, maybe I can exit here. Menu title. Locomotion. Okay, I can't drop my guns, which makes it awkward to... Um... <laughs> I, can't... <laughs> I can't use my gun to... I can't... Oh my god. Can I get rid of this? No, I can't. I just can't let go of them. What if I press two buttons at the same time? No. Can I put them on the floor? Oh, okay, you can put them in your in your little pack thing. Right, uh, now I can use my hand. So, locomotion, what's that? Settings. No, I can't seem to be press on anything at all. All right, I'm going to exit one more time, and then I'm going to go back in one more time, one last time, to see uh, whether, you know, it works. Uh, so, where's my steam? Okay. Oh, my steam's no, there, no longer there. Okay. Let me close this. Let me go to um, virtual desktop. Virtual desktop, monitor one. So you can choose your monitors, by the way. Um, okay, so I'll choose the other monitor. Monitor two. Okay, I can grab this. I could earlier. Okay, there we go. Oh. And I can put it there, maybe. Okay, get rid of this. Oh, what a big mess. Um, okay, so virtual desktop. Oh, my Steam's disappeared. It seems as if I've uh, been logged out of Steam or something. Let me double check.
yeah, I mean long down steam. Okay, so I'll click play. Okay. And then we'll be back in the game in a minute. All right, so I think this experience is supposed to be with other people. So you can create a room. But the thing is, when I created the room, I wasn't able to invite people. So there's an event ongoing for seven days. Open tutorial, one of 12. Ah, this must be a multiplayer room. So I was right, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we're gonna go play tutorial. So that was someone. Come on. Play. It's not going on. It's not going in. So I can't go in at the moment. Nothing's happening. So it's two people. It says two out of twelve, but. Hmm. Uh, no, nothing's working. Open. Come on. Okay, I selected it. Good tutorial. Come on. No, it's not working. Okay, let me log out. Oh, something's happened. Okay, there we go. I click the home button. Right, so we're inside. Now, there are other players inside. There's one person in here. And he's over there. So this is actually a real person. So this is like rec room. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No? <coughs> Excuse me. Can you stop shooting at me? Can you hear me? Or not? No? I'm behind you. So this is actually a real person playing the game. So that's maybe his room or someone else's room. I don't know. <clears throat> so this is basically like a rec room is what I would say. So you have worlds online and then people can come and play. Right, I got it. God, it took some time to figure out. So it's like a team player game, I guess. Or a group game. So you can explore the world. You can climb on anything, right? Isn't that what they said earlier? No, I can't climb on this wall. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, you can climb. So it's like Spider-Man. You can just climb on stuff. Oh, it's pretty physical doing this, I'll tell you that. Are we high? Oh, whoa, we're pretty high. You can see my little uh, pouches there. All right, there we go. All right, I got five bullets. How do I... Oh, you can jump as well, okay. So the aim of the game is to what? Kill him? Or find other bad guys? Alright, where is he? I can, hear, I can hear him shooting at something. Alright, let's just go for a little wonder. I think this game, I mean, it just came out in November, so I don't think many people are on it yet. I think that's the thing. So they're probably in uh, beta mode, I would say. But it's free to try, and it is, I mean, it is very, I mean, it's very cartoony. Um, but I guess if there were a lot more people, it would be fun, maybe. But as far as I'm concerned, if this is going to be like a, a rec room and then, you know, you just shoot each other using paintball or whatever, 
then I think Rec Room would be the one I would use. I wouldn't really want to use this one. But I do like the, the graphics and... Uh, I mean, you can see, uh, I was being asked earlier, what's the difference between Quest and, and Link? Well, you see over there, let me see if I can... You see here, it's bluish color and over there's grayish color. And then you see the little gradient of the shadow. This kind of stuff you don't really see on the Quest. It's that kind of little detail there. I mean, this shadow is really nice. If you look at the line going from here all the way to the door over there, it's just beautifully done. I mean, the shading is very nice. Right, I'm going to exit this game, guys, because um, we get the point, right? The point is that you have to shoot shoot these people right I think so oh. and but I don't know how many points you get and and what points you and how you score I mean I, don't, I just don't know who the hell are you talking to uh, I'm doing a live stream oh I'm glad you can hear me how are you doing I so the point of the game is like a rec room, right? I guess. I guess so. But I'm not quite sure who we have to kill. Like, I don't know what team I'm on. Like, red team, blue team. This is a tutorial. Oh, this is a tutorial. But I went inside of one of the worlds. Sure. And I wasn't able to invite someone. So I don't know if you just go into people's worlds or if you invite people to your world. It's quite confusing to me. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you, mate. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. Have fun. All right. Have fun with your stream. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the stream for today. Um, I'm glad we were able to meet someone at the end of the of the stream and talk to them. So you can actually hear people and talk with them. And I guess once it gets busier, it will be more and more interesting. Um, but until then. I think I'm going to give it a miss for a while, so uh, some, some apps are great, some others aren't so great, and I think that's what, uh, you know, that's what's good about VR and doing these kind of reviews. You get to know what works, what doesn't work, uh, what you might enjoy, what you might not enjoy. But uh, this app is, uh, so this one here, let me just bring it up again. Um, let me bring this. So this app, uh, Blast World, is completely free. Uh, so do try it, um, and now you know what it's like. So it's like a rec room, and you can go into rooms and blast people or things. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. But it just came out 20th November. I guess they're in beta mode. All right, guys. Um, have fun trying this out. I shall talk to you later. Please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback, suggestions of other apps I can do. And leave a like if you think it's helpful to other people as well. All right. Take it easy, I'm going to end the stream now.